Hey, how you doing? I just want to talk about gang stalking and how they use your family and friends. And when they do such low tactics like using your family and friends, it's some of the most heartbreaking shit that you have to go through in, in your life. You know, having your family like go against you when it comes to gang stalking. You know, you know, just the I'm being followed by invisible people everywhere I go. These two people, one's a boy, one's a girl. And they just fucking torture me every day. And, you know, they call it fatherhood or they call it something else, you know. Like they come up with other things. How they always like, you know, I'm not going in a computer. I'm not going to stand up and things. And, you know, like, you know, I'm not even supposed to be saying shit like this, man. But, you know, I've got to say it because they've done too much damage in my life, you know. Everything here you see is subliminal, you know. Everything. Everything around me is mostly I'm being subliminally attacked by people and physically assaulted by people. And all my friends and family, they're all brainwashed. They're all brainwashed and they're all part of this my gang stalking, how they all gang up on me with these people. These people who follow me, these invisible people who follow me, have my whole family blackmailed, have them all coerced into going against me in this in this program i can't even go to the toilet by myself and take a shit that's how fucking sick these bastards are that's how sick these and cruel these bastards are you know you can't a man can't even go to the toilet by himself and do a shit and i'm being gaslit at the same time v2k all kinds of stuff like that while i'm taking a crap they stop they in my bowels they do all those cause me to bleed all kinds of real sick shit like that, man. On the on the fucking toilet. They always torture me on the toilet and things like that. I know it just sounds sick. It sounds... You can't believe it, but they fucking do. They people... To, gang stalkers actually torture people on fucking the toilet, in their beds at night time while they sleep, in the shower. They follow... They watch you naked. They see you, like, no clothes on. They see you taking a crap all kinds of stuff like that, it's really, it's like you're in Auschwitz, it's you like you're in Auschwitz, in the Matrix, in the full Matrix, everyone's a fucking agent and things, man, they've got all my friends and family blackmailed, it's some of the most cruelest shit you ever have to go through, people you've known your whole life, people you've been with your whole life go against you, in the because of just a couple of fucking agents that come in your life and gang stalk you, right? They've tried heaps of shit with me, tried to give me multiple identities. They just use all these torture tactics. They've tried to fucking kill me, saying that they're trying to kill me and stuff like that, make me all paranoid and scared and stuff like that. And I end up leaving my home, moving to another location, things in different places and go around everywhere that I can go because everyone just turns against you, you know. They just want you to fucking die. They want bad things to happen to you over these, over these fucking asshole gang stalkers, right. They've got control over everybody. They've got fucking control over absolutely everybody and it's a sick, cruel fucking program that no one has to go through, see their family and friends go against them. See their family and friends just betray you over these fucking scumbags, who, rapist fucking scumbags who just come in your life, take walk all over your house, disrespect your parents, disrespect you, everyone, and they and they come in your house, man, and basically they've got control over everybody. They got control over everybody. I go see my friends, they got control over them too. You know, my mates are fucking playing up. All kinds of shit, chucking a leg spread, bending over, you know, taking a piss or whatever like that, you know, and they're just like fucking with you in all kinds of ways you can't imagine. And you got these invisible people in my life manipulating all of it, all the fucking bullshit in my life is because of these two cunts, these two invisible fucking people who follow me around, you understand? And they're just other agents that these people sent. I've had different agents come in my life, believe me, and they've tried to give me different identities or whatever like that. They've always been on my dick butt 
for over 20 years. You understand? Trying this humiliation, trying all these fucking problems like physical illnesses and things like that. Always so I don't go to work, so I so I don't like end up go, getting anywhere with my life. You understand? Soon as I try to get a job, even man. Soon as I try to get myself a job, they fucking torture me. They hit, they hit me with weapons every day, so as I don't go to work, so I don't go to work and things like that. You know, that's they follow you. They can actually follow you to your workplace as well and torture you there, right? I've been in hospital with broken bones and things like that. Believe me, they attack me in the fucking hospital. These two invisible people were manipulating the nurses. They were manipulating all the hospital staff, the other patients, all the other patients gaslighting me, things like that. Oh, you're not a monster yet and things like that. You know, I'm telling you, like, that's the kind of shit that you have to go through. And you have to learn to talk like them. You have to try to use your mind and just know the duality of everything and how to speak like these people. And it's very narcissistic in nature, the way you talk to people and stuff like that. But it's real. You have to be backwards with these people, you know, because they are backwards people. You know, everything you see in the world is inverted, you know. At the same time as you're talking, they're talking gibberish to you. They're, they're just, you know, manipulating all your words, everything that you say. They use V2K on me, everything. You know, they're putting in all kinds of, like, thoughts in my mind, which I don't want to mention, they're, because they're just, like, so childish, so stupid, and, like, believe me, like, it's not even worth mentioning the type of... They want to keep me docile. They want to keep people docile with gang stalking and stuff. They want to keep you sedated. They want to keep you like docile. They don't want you to also leave your area where you live. You know, they try to keep you in that area isolated to yourself so that they've basically have you surrounded. They basically have you surrounded and, you know, decapacitated to, you know, getting your life together or whatever like that. With me, that's how fucking cruel it is to see my family, everyone involved in that, in all this type of shit that they're doing to me. My work, my job, my love life with people, my relationships that I have with people, all flush down the toilet because of these fucking two invisible people in my life who have everyone manipulated. And they call it fatherhood. They call it fatherhood. You know, I have to go to the toilet with these people. I have to go to bed at night and sleep with a blanket over my head, because they touch my face, they do all kinds of stuff like that while I'm sleeping, man, it's unbelievable, The talk, they burn me, they stab me, they choke me, they make me vomit, they make me like have like bowel movement, bowel pain, sharp pains in my bowels, they stab me in my areas of my, where your liver and your kidneys are, things like that, where they fucking, really fucking, it's a lot of pain that you have to go through as an individual. It's like being in like a prison, in a prison and the screws and all the screws fucking abuse you. The people who run the prison, they all fucking abuse everyone and stuff. And they got everyone controlled. You know, this program is designed, every, everyone's just for themselves. This whole program, you know, believe me, there's, you know, these gang stalkers, they don't support each other, you know. Only when it comes to a TI, you know, people who are being gang stalked, you know, that's the only reason why they come together. Other than that, they don't want to know each other. They don't want to have anything to do with each other, you know, because they're just sick individuals, you know, and they know that. They know that's why they don't like each other, because they're just sick weirdos and things like that, you know. But they, when it comes to gang stalking, they have everybody under control, believe me. They've got this gang stalking program over everybody's heads, you know, and seeing my family and my friends doing this shit to me is the most cruelest fucking shit anyone has to go through. You know, it's just an unbelievable sick program.